Chess friends, my chess tournament has started where the top 12 super engines will play against each other to go in the semi-final round, there are Alpha Zero's copy version LC0, Dragon Chess Torch Chess and so, today I will show you one of my tournament game played between Dragon and me, he is the formidable opponent of me. You have succeeded in life when all you really want is only what you really need, I started the game with E4, we have C5 Knight F3. There are many variations of silicon opening which Dragon Chess can consider, Hyper Accelerated Dragon Silicon is one of the most popular opening, I recently show in chess.com that some 2000 rated players play this damn opening and make their own game into a drawable position, anyway after d6 we have opened Sicilian by center exchanges on d4, a6 c4. Dragon did not commit his pawn to the center early in the game, because the d6 pawn will be a backward pawn, therefore white will improve his position with no pawn weakness, so we have g6 to play dragon sicilian, dragon played dragon sicilian, what a comedy, why doesn't my name carry an opening name, bishop e3 plan is to make a battery to fire in the king side, bishop e2 and pushing the king pawns in the right side of the board is the old plan, therefore white will play long castle. You may have doubt for this weak c pawn that it contains some weakness, however white can hide behind his pawns by simply sliding himself. We must be willing to let go of the life we have planned, so as to have the life that is waiting for us, dragon played double fumetto which is gives me another reason to push the f pawn, now gh pawns are become a permanent threat for the black position, bishop h6 will try to eliminate the bishop who is the general controller of this diagonal kingdom, after this happen, the light square bishop will be passive and brotherless, so after couple of moves later I played bishop h6. You may think of playing castle but after takes takes, I will push my troops in kingside heavily, since the bishop and the knight are the only piece to protect the king in kingside, it will bring heavy losses to the king's survival, for this reason we have bishop exchanges on h6, black loses his castle ability so after rook c8, black is trying to create pressure on this c-file, black's next choice would be to push the pawn and bring the queen to a5 so after knight c1 we have pieces exchanges on c4. I sacrificed the one pawn to push the pawn to e5, this is the heavy attack which black is facing in the king side, he have undeveloped pawns and the king is in middle of the board, knight h5 is a bad choice as white can push the g pawn, after king b1 the rook will use their full potential on this ed files. Life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it, so dragon decided to move back his knight, we have rook to e1, adding pressure on this file, knight takes e5 isn't the best move because of rook takes knight, and you can't do anything. For your friend, because your love is more important than your friendship, my knights are so powerful in the center side because they have the strategy to attack in black's king side, so we have d takes e5 rook takes e5, e6, try to open up the queen diagonal where the rook can enter in h file, but, by playing e6, Black creates some weakness on these holes, the knight can jump into these holes to fire the king, also, the rook have an opportunity to go in d6 square. Knight d4 is an another idea but can't cover all of them otherwise the video will be long, some of my chess friends told me to increase the video length in the comments, I don't have a lot of time for YouTube, but I post chess videos because I'm passionate about the game, my love for chess motivates me to dedicate some of my time to it, even though it's not a lot, I want to double up my rooks to target this knight, you may think of playing rook c7 to overprotect the knight. But there is amazing knight a4 knight b6 move to target the piece. All the art of living lies in a fine mingling of letting go and holding on, so dragon played rook h4, queen to g7 to target the rook, rook f8, look at the black position, the king is middle of the board which makes his pieces inactive, weakness on these squares, I have open rook files so I played rook to d6, targeting to the e pawn, bishop can't protect the pawn because rook will attack to the bishop, here if you play any normal kind of move, let me show you the variation, then after rook takes check, takes check, queen have to block it then it will be a checkmate in a few moves, just count to 5. The aim of life is to live, and to live means to be aware, joyously, drunkenly, serenely, divinely aware, so back to the position, black played queen f6, what should white play now? You can pause the video and figure out that move which I played, 1 2 3, ok if you find queen takes queen, then congratulation, you are absolutely worn, 
black position will be secured, so in this position, rook e3 takes e6, then you are absolutely right, why not rook d takes e6, because isn't the best move as black can take it, black pieces will arrange a party on there, you have to think at least one step away from your opponent, so in this position best is to play rook e3 takes e6. So if black tries to take it with the pawn then it will be a checkmate with the queen, so back to the position we have queen takes rook, I have queen for two rooks but black king is not in the safe place. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.